Hey, I'm Gold, and here's everything you need to know about the Blackmagic Design Update. Timestamps down below. When it comes to cameras, we have three new ones. First, the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K. It uses the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro platform, meaning that you can use the same accessories like the viewfinder and battery mount from the Pocket 6K Pro, but that's about where the similarities end. The electronics are completely different. It has a new full-frame 6K 3x2 sensor, an L lens mount, which allows for adapting to other mounts like EF and PL. It comes with an optical low-pass filter. It records to CFast Express cards or USB-C discs. And you can control and download media from the camera over Ethernet, well, provided you have a USB-C Ethernet adapter. The second new camera is a second generation of the Blackmagic Studio Camera 4K+. It now has 12G SDI in and out. It can record B-RAW on USB-C drives has a 3.5mm headset plug for TalkPack, and has REST API support when using an USB to Ethernet adapter. And the third new camera is a second generation of the Blackmagic Micro Studio Camera 4K. It comes with new twist-on mini BNC connectors and 12G SDI. It gets a regular power connector, can record B-RAW to USB-C drives, supports focus and zoom demands via USB-C, and also has REST API support when using an Ethernet adapter. Moving on, iPhone users have a great new camera app, the Blackmagic Camera. And it's free! The interface will look very familiar to Blackmagic Camera users, which includes all the features we come to expect. A histogram, focus peaking, false color, zebra, timecode, scene metadata, and more. It records ProRes and H.265, and also has an interesting stealth mode, which lets you hold the phone vertically, but actually record a landscape video. This also leads us to the updates to Blackmagic Cloud. We now have a new section in the cloud called Cloud Storage. This gives us the ability to store project media on Blackmagic Cloud. At the moment, it's $30 per terabyte. You can have up to 30 members, and for testing, you get two gigabytes free. Cloud Storage also integrates with the cameras. Starting today, the Blackmagic Camera app for iOS can automatically upload media and proxies to your cloud storage and put them directly into a DaVinci Resolve project. So, while you're shooting on location, your editor can already start picking clips from the bin and assembling an edit. This feature will also be coming to Dorosa Broadcast G2 and the new Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K in the near future. DaVinci Resolve 18.6 also has a new, new project dialog for cloud projects. Last but not least, a bit about the world of broadcast. We get two new ATEM control panels, the ATEM 1ME Advanced Panel 20 and 30. These are more like the larger panels, adding MEs to the width, not the depth of the panel. We have a new video hub 80x80 12G for even more routing. The web presenter HD and 4K have a software update with the new SRC streaming protocol, custom URLs and H.265 encoding. And the ATEM streaming bridge gets a software update giving support for SRT and adds a new audio codec. That's it from me. See you next time.